Monday, and that means Valley Spotlight with and some of my favorite people. Another feast here at Sunrise <laughs> Inn. Kenny's here. Lauren's here. There I'm go, here. There you go. Look I don't, some of I don't know if we have enough. I'm not sure we have enough stuff. I'm, I'm already I'm, eating off of five plates. What the heck? I, I want to get to these burgers, but I'm scared, uh, honestly. But let's let's work you our way around. This is a cholesterol burger. <laughs> yeah, my numbers were low. I wanted to... <laughs> Pick Mepitor it up a little bit. Or whatever, uh, hey, Lipitor. whatever that is. Lipitor? Lipitor burger, yeah. <laughs> we do have a new burger menu that is going to be featuring, of course, named after a lot of the things that are going to be coming to the Robbins Theater Correct. Uh, this, this fall. And when you read the burger descriptions, you laugh out loud, and then you read what's actually <laughs> on the burger, right, right. and your mind is blown. Yeah, right. and I look at this thing. You got a lot of jaw when you eat this cholesterol <laughs> I, burger. Do you get a t-shirt when you're done? No, or anything? We, any prize? No, no. Oh. You just get the, we have a nice restroom there. <laughs> <laughs> on the way out, yeah. yeah. And then head home for your nap. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, you're going to need two naps. The one down in front is the Godzilla burger, uh, Mike. And uh, uh, it's, on that, it's on that Texas toast. Mm -hmm. A little barbecue sauce on there. Is a nice addition. It it's is. it's just a little it bit is. different than a regular burger bun, and yes. I think it's, it's so uh -huh. good, and it's good to look at, too. And, you know, i got to say, Chef Stu really creates some great burgers, and, you know, to create 12 burgers at a time, really, you know, right. and there's websites, but he really does a great, and then you got to execute it. So you got to make sure when you do it, you got to be able to get it done. And when, you know, there's two, 300 people in here eating and you got 40 burgers going, it's an assembly process. This is one of those places that people, and when you live here, you love it. And then when you don't live here or you're bringing friends in or you moved away, mm. uh, just watching what you guys are doing online. I mean, it's clear that every single person that walks in the store feels like they're a part of something here, Ken. And that's a, a huge testament. And like so. I always say, you know, the world has changed so much. I think people like to come back to something they remembered as a kid. It's still, I've been here all these years. We still mm -hmm. use the same pepperoni, the same flour, the same, everything's the same. The Romano cheeses. I think it's nice to have some familiar, familiarity in your life. That's an old recipe. Right? That's, my, that's my grandmother's recipe, my Yaya Anna. Yeah. Who my sister's named after, mm -hmm. Anna. So to me, that's, and then, you know, we started with little batches. Of course, you'd make like a little container and they Oh heck, we just sold That's you know, pretty whatever. Good. Now we gotta make a half a bucket. Now you know we're making, you know, barrels of it. So it's it's good. This is a thin crust that usually people don't think about. You know, think about the old world and some of your deep dish that we did on the mm -hmm. on the Valley Secrets a few weeks mm -hmm. ago, That's right. Mike. But this one's a little bit different and you just had some. It's wonderful. Yeah, if you notice this little piece here, folks, that was Mike, so he's taking it. Was it me for I'm a trying change? To parse Mike it myself. Uh, yeah. and I, think I gotta get it. down to that other end. Maybe <laughs> during this uh, This <laughs> one is a, break. a beautiful dish. This is a really it's nice kicked dish. Up chicken and greens, right? With the hot yeah. peppers and all the pastas and everything. So Do you find that people get the same thing though every time when they come a lot of or times do they people, sample when you go to hand them a menu they say we know I already know what I'm doing the car so it's kind of hard to introduce things and that's where social media really comes in because if somebody sees something mm. and they don't they say hey you know I saw that and I want to try it okay and to me that's where the social because if not it's hard to introduce new things here because if you people sit in this right. people will sit I'm going for the egg the same, and they sit yeah. in the same booth and if their booth's not available they'll sit at the bar and wait till their booth's available <laughs> And we have a picture of a gentleman where he sat in the same booth every day, like at four o'clock, and the picture is right there at the booth. So to me, that's kind of cool, and that's you know we're gonna be we're gonna have to do a 95 year anniversary here. Pretty Can you soon. believe it? We, I just feel so like good. we just did 92. Well, I we wonder know what coming up. Jan well, we have to talk about that. January uh, first will be of 2024 will be 90. Oh my goodness. There is so much to talk about with you, and we're gonna stick with you, and uh, we're gonna talk about Country at the Boot out at Yankee Lake at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. So much to get through there, Mike. It's right. gonna be a wonderful winter and wonderful oh, fall really thanks is. to this guy. It's gonna, it's gonna, be, gonna fun. be fun. So in the meantime, these wonderful people out in Austin Town, right? Right. They have moved to a bigger location. This is so exciting. We and uh, Abigail's Bakery Creations has moved along, and we visited with Bill ab about it. Uh, not just his love for chocolate chip cookies, but now Ooh. coffee in the entire place. Just wanted to give you an update on Abigail's Baking Creations, uh, Bakery Creations, and Bill and I are in the new location. How cool is this? Very cool. Used to be the old Bill's place. Oh my God, for Apropos. almost 50 years. Yeah. Right? So we even have the stained glass if you're used to the stained glass door that's Bill's place. We have it in the back. I'm trying to find someone who will frame it for me so we throw it on a wall. I love it. Yeah, so we have the door. This is a huge spot compared to the old place. Oh, yes. Were you worried about filling the spot? I was, because obviously not many bakeries go into a 4,000 plus square foot place. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we uh, I partnered with Dick Marlowe. We got tons of coffee. I have 24 flavors of coffee available. Uh -huh. We have 14 or 15 available every single day for you all. 
And then I partnered with JR Grinders out in Canfield as uh -huh. a second location. He's not closed in Canfield, so everybody can relax Calm out. It, right? all, yeah, everybody relax in Canfield. Uh -huh. So he's coming out here. Um, he will do breakfast for us. He does uh, breakfast roll or breakfast sandwiches, breakfast burritos, that kind of stuff, and then we'll roll right into lunch Love it. with all of his subs and his sandwiches and. Uh, Shouldn't say this out loud, but we'll bring Katie Corners ice cream in, oh, in, in, into Austin Town. That won't be Town. bad. That won't be Across bad. Across the street from Handles. Okay. <laughs> Except there's no ice cream rumble or anything so like that. So he has Katie's Corners now, so we're going to bring some ice cream back. This bar, I mean, you know, it's the been a bar. The original. Right? Yes. How's, it, how's the bar with coffee drinks? Co the bar is fabulous. Really? Everybody, yeah, we have more people by far sitting at the bar. Than, than at the, any of the tables or booths. How fun. It is. All right, let's get to the bakery creations. Yes. Still doing the chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yes. Like, how um, <laughs> popular have they been? Give me some All right. numbers. So, we were doing four or 5,000 a month when we were in the other location. Okay. We did our grand opening. We did 1,200 on our grand opening on a Friday. On that day? One day. Um, we're averaging five to 700 a day right now. For, and you, uh, how Just, many days are we I, open? Seven five. Days? Five, no, days? five days. So you're doing over almost 3,000 a week? Yes. A week? Uh, yes. And and I have nine other cookies. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, right. And 15 other desserts. Right. Yeah. So what? this cookie is insane. Is it's, it the cookie or yeah. is it all of a sudden the location? Is no, it the it's, traffic? No, what it's, is it? it's the cookie. It's been the cookie forever. Yeah. Uh, one of the weird things, I am known for two things. If you ask every baklava and chocolate chip I was, cookies. That was my next question. Yep. We won five awards for our baklava. So. It, it, it's something that we do and people come in asking all the time. I, I love it because I get people coming in and going, hey, my cousin Susie told me to come here and get these chocolate chip cookies. And now we're like three people away. Like, my friend's friend told me I need to get these. So, so the chocolate chip cookies are just craziness. Best part of the advertising, right? Yeah, it is. It really is. Uh, you made me some cupcakes. <laughs> I mean, these are what? Banana, like banana, banana nut? Banana, but no nuts. Okay. Banana and peanut butter. And then you do the, all the frostings on your own. Oh, we make everything right here. How about so that? So we created that homemade peanut butter icing and it's just pretty fabulous. I wish you had the smell of it. Like you could <laughs> smell the peanut butter, and I'm a sucker for peanut butter. Uh, what else should good. people know uh, about Abigail's? Well, we have a new hour, so 7 a.m. Okay. That's that's a big thing, because we were 8.30 before. Okay. So now we're getting all those folks from, hopefully, get school, everybody before work. Right. And instead of having black coffee and one or two flavors, mm -hmm. we literally have six hot coffees every single day, and I have at least eight, if not 10, cold brews ready. So, so we have 15 different flavors of coffee every single day to come in. For everybody who has a coffee fix, mm -hmm. um, I have a spiced chai tea. Getting to be we, that time we got of a year. Black, we got a black tea mm -hmm. for those folks who don't want that. We got a whole bunch of monster energy drinks. Okay. You know, everybody, coffee's not enough energy. Everybody's got to get it. Just dump so, it right in. So that's right. There you so go. So we got water, we got soda, we got monster, we got the coffee, we got tea. Um, it's really coming together. And last question, are you doing anything special bakery-wise for the fall or anything like that? Or are you just yes, kind of rotating we'll do. around? No, we'll do pumpkin rolls. Okay. Um, that's a huge thing for us. Mm -hmm. um, I do pumpkin pies all year long, so it isn't really a big thing, but we'll do a million pumpkin pies. And then we have one of our local clients, we do 400 pies a year for them the day, really? the week of Thanksgiving. And I asked them to do a oh cake too. Gosh, it's so not sorry. just, yeah, turn that off. It's yes. not just uh, the cookies and the scones and things like that. It's also, we also did a little birthday cake too. It doesn't have birthday <laughs> writing on it, but I think they'll enjoy it when they yes, get it. Yes, so absolutely. Thank you so much and congrats on all uh, your success. Thank you so much, sir. You gotta check them out. It's right here on Mahoning Avenue, Mahoning in Idaho, and it's the old Bill's place, and right now it's Abigail's Bakery Creations. 5,000 chocolate chip cookies. Thousands and thousands of chocolate chip cookies. Sign me up. Yeah, you'll have one, right? Oh, I'll have, I'll have can you believe I haven't eaten anything yet? I'm no, still making a decision I'm a little disappointed, here. honestly. Well, I'm a little full from yesterday because Mark, Mark, <laughs> Chef ah, Mark has done right. what we have finally asked. And on the other side of this break, we're going to show off the Bistro 1907 Happy Hour menu. I am thrilled about I've this. I've seen it online. I want to see it in person. <laughs> your eyes are two of the most important parts of your body, so it's best to take care of them. Optical Solutions in the Austin Town Plaza offers comprehensive eye exams, medical eye care, LASIK and cataract evaluation, and more. Contact lenses in all types, plus eyewear from budget to designer frames. Optical Solutions is your complete eye care destination. Covered by most insurance carriers, contact Optical Solutions today to make your appointment. 330-797-8780.
Thank you, Mike. Heels is the low cost living anti inflation department store. Shop Hills in the Liberty, Lincoln Dolls, and Morgan Plaza, Youngstown, and the Ridgeview Plaza in Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all open 10 till 10 daily. Every single person that has been with us since day one on Valley Spotlight, we've been, what, five, five and a half years? Five, about five and a half years, yeah. We finally have a happy hour menu to talk about. Food menu. We've always had a, a menu. spirits menu. We've but always just had food. a spirits menu, but the food menu, some of the favorites that have been on the menu since day one since are day now. One, they're, we're going to give smaller portion uh, at a value for our guests to come in. I mean, we know that right now in America it's trying time, so we want to offer a value for our guests that are coming in. And I think this is a great way to do it. Just a little bit smaller, but order three of them if you want. You know, <laughs> I don't think this is if you're at the bar, smaller. you can order them at the bar. If you're at table 42, you can order them at table 42. It, it doesn't really matter. It, so just enjoy the fact that we are putting out a great product at a very much value price and smaller portions. Yes, yeah, smaller portions except for the OMG onion rings. Which you are can't still make gigantic. those small. These things are still gigantic, <laughs> and we're talking about like less than almost everything is on on the menu. We're starting with these first four items for less than ten dollars. Most things. Most things. Uh, the, only the crab cake sliders are a little bit more. Right. But which, that's crab cakes, and we're still using jumbo lump crab for that. So same crab cake. Didn't cheapen on any of the ingredients, which we would never do anyways. So I just think it's a great menu. I mean, when my wife and I go out to eat all the time, we whether it's happy hour or whatever, we like to order a lot of appetizers because you can taste so many different things versus getting one whole meal. Okay. I mean, you're stuck with the one whole meal. That is the truth, and that's the, I think what people are going to be so excited about. Um, it is going to be uh, the afternoons, of course, happy hour from Wednesday through Friday is 4 until 6. Till 6. Right, and then on Mondays and Tuesdays. It's just 5 to 6 because we don't open until 5, but... You know, if you guys come out in herds, we'll open up at four for you. That would be good. We are going to mention that we have the Nona, the Nona's meatballs. My, gran my great grandmother's meatballs, the raisins, they're just amazing. They're delicious. Uh, our wings that we've been doing, they're brined, they're baked, they're fire grilled, then they're sauteed in garlic butter. So it's cooked four different ways. <laughs> And it just gives them a really great, deep, unique flavor. It you really does. You know it's killing the pregnant yes. lady over here to not eat all this stuff. Well, why not eat it? I'm going, I'll The get baby's there. like, come on, feed me. <laughs> I get there. He's moving around. What was around. that little thing, little right shop of horrors with the little big Venus fly trap <laughs> that ate everybody? That's pretty much what we're going through. And then this is kind of new, right? This is new. This is new because I love truffled french fries. And truffles are in season. We try to have them here year round. So this is uh, the frites, our, our frites, which we make in-house. Then they're going to be tossed in, in a what we call like caviar of truffle because it's very very finely minced caviar uh, truffles and then parmigiano reggiano and we're serving with a roasted garlic aioli so that is a little bit more that's sucking you need a big glass of wine for this one which wines are all half off during happy hour yes so there's some great wines you can get that would go perfect with that all right let's take a short break while i have a, a little bit of this and then we will come back with four more items that are going to be on this menu as well as a, a young up and comer who's and, a huge a young, part of this team. You know how much I love bringing up young chefs. And that is what... We um, just need more women chefs. Come on, ladies. Come on, Sabina. Grow up already. <laughs> just kidding. Don't grow up already. We'll take a break. We'll come back. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, like you've never seen it before, with the original Magenta, Patricia Quinn, live and in person, for a screening of the original unedited movie, with a live shadow cast, and filled with audience participation. All this, plus a VIP meet and greet, memorabilia display, costume contest, with cash prizes and more. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Tuesday, October 10th at 7pm. For tickets, visit the box office or robinstheater.com. Taking one cash offer for your home doesn't have to be your only option. I'm Barbara Corcoran, and especially in today's current market, having a local real estate agent who offers great marketing and options that are customized to fit your needs is smart. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com.
As promised, back out here at Bistro 1907 with Chef Mark, your new happy hour menu, and a guy that makes everybody happy around yep. here. Chef Bobby Lucarelli. It's been coming up through the ranks for the last few years. Young man. He's got a lot of heart, a lot of passion. Yes, you do. And those do. are the two most important things. And he takes wonderful pictures of all the stuff that he's always creating here. Yeah, so thank he you, does. Bobby, for doing that. Absolutely. All right, I just asked you your favorite thing on the new happy hour menu. What is it and why? The arancini balls. Probably because one, I'm Italian, and two, I just love risotto. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> so Plus, it's, it's got our homemade Italian uh, sausage in it, too. Absolutely. We didn't even get to that yet. So we've got, we went through these four items over here, but there are some new things that we have yet to see on the Bistro menu, right, Chef? Well, we, we've had this before just in another form. This is, a, we did it over a waffle, mm -hmm. actually. This is a Korean fried chicken. So it's a chicken thigh, and I love using chicken thighs, you know, because chicken thighs just have so much more flavor than a chicken breast. Uh, and it's got... It's like a Nashville hot, but it's a Korean hot. Okay. I really like the Korean chili, the, the flavor of the chili flakes and everything like that. Really a great sandwich. Bread and butter pickles from my brother Jeff at Papa Canzanetta's. And I just think it's, it's a great addition to the uh, happy hour menu. Well, the, the new crab cake sliders, of course, can't go wrong with, you get a whole crab cake basically for a reduced price. Plus you get the, you get the brioche buns. And then we got a couple burger sliders up there and our new pistachio Caesar salad. That is a beautiful one. And I yes. think even Chef Allen's excited about that one too, right? Yeah, and you can get that, you can get that vegan and gluten-free upon request. What do you think? People awesome. are gonna come in for this, right? Absolutely. We've been I think doing so. this a long time together. I think this is finally the moment. We've got some, you know, different types of obstacles in downtown Youngstown. We do we have need some to give them obstacles. a reason to get their butts down yeah. here. You know, our friends over on Federal Street, sadly right now they're suffering a little bit with the not su they are suffering very much so with the construction. Please, if you still have the time to come downtown Youngstown, please celebrate the local businesses down here, especially our friends in the restaurant valley, uh, in the restaurant community. I mean, those guys over there have been here longer than I have. Yep. So, you know, they, they, they took the first national um, steps to come down here and had the guts to do it. And so look, please and celebrate. The next generation is depending yes. on you, So We definitely need the next generation of chefs coming up. Don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> I won't. I won't. Yeah, and you either stay with us more Valley Spotlight in just a second. Well, Ducat not only sells the product, but we service them. We have parts and service support for every machine that you buy at Ducat. Um, you are purchasing a machine, it's eventually going to break or need work, and we are here to do that. Uh, you don't get that from an online sale or a mass merchant. They just don't have the ability to have the parts and the service. We send our mechanics to school every year. We have two Briggs & Stratton master service technicians. There are not many in the country, probably less than 5,000 in the country, and we have two at Ducat. And we also have gold certified steel mechanics uh, and numerous certifications in parts and service for, for every brand that we carry. So let yourself go to Ducat. Let yourself go to Ducat. Can't get enough Barney Five? Me neither. Then again, I'm his daughter. Don Knott's daughter, that is. Don't we look alike? Join Karen Knotts at the Robbins Theater Friday, November 3rd, as she pays tribute to her dad, Don Knotts. Get your tickets now at the box office or at robbinstheater.com. Papa Canzanetta's Peppers, recipe established in 1975. A family secret is now yours to share with the people who add spice to your life. Choose from mild and hot versions, plus our famous original blend too. They're the perfect punch for any dish. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we've got the recipes to prove it. Just follow us on Facebook, order online at papacans.com and pick your peck. Papacans.com, order six jars or more and qualify for free shipping. We like it hot, we're glad you do too. How about that menu, mm. Chef Mark? Welcome back to Valley Spotlight, yeah. And uh, Chef Bobby, wonderful, wonderful young man that is yeah. doing really great things out there. This is really great too. Sunrise Inn, it's yes. open seven days a week here in, Bo in uh, Warren. They only close like three days out of the whole year, so that's pretty cool. You know, I want to know what patience is. <laughs> Waiting your turn to be on Belly Spotlight. And Stephanie Turney, now is your moment. And we are so, so excited to introduce everybody at home to what we have affectionately called the Bee Lady. And I think that's her nickname too. And this is why. Worth the wait. Here on my property, this is at my house, I'm about 14, as you can see in the background. Um, and then I have two other locations. So I have about 50 hives right now. 
50 hives. 50. So you're kind of like the ultimate queen bee, right? I am <laughs> I've been referred to as the crazy bee lady. <laughs> The Crazy Bee Lady might be one nickname for Stephanie Turney. Stephanie is the founder and owner and beekeeper behind the Happy Honey Bee Company. And she's most certainly earned the title by being one of the best in the bee business. So I ordered my first hive um, back in 2016. And by 2017, um, going into fall, I had just two hives going in. And like I said, now I'm at 50 hives. Um, hives multiply very quickly if you are a good beekeeper, um, which I guess I am now. <laughs> this self-taught beekeeper started out loving bees when she was just a kid, and that love has blossomed into a very sweet little business thanks to her years of experience and education. I've always been obsessed with honeybees. I've always found them fascinating as a child. So learning about them, I thought, oh, this is gonna be easy. And it turns out that it takes a lot of science, a lot of math, um, ingenuity, being creative, um, working with stuff that you don't have, but you need right then and there um, to keep your hives alive, to keep them from swarming. Um, so I read every book that I could get my hands on. I went to the library a lot and requested books constantly. Her constant need to know more only resulted in more bees and more honey and more honeycomb, which are the building blocks to an array of happy honeybee products that sell out at local shops and farmers markets. These products are in 40 retail locations across the country. Most all of them solve skin problems. I love, I love making products. I've been making soaps and lotions and lip balms since my early 20s. Um, I wound up getting sick. Um, I kept having allergic reactions to over-the-counter products. So I kept going to doctors for years and they would just prescribe an antibiotic, a topical. And as soon as I got done taking it, I was right back to square one. So I did research. And there wasn't really a whole lot on the market 20, 25 years ago. So I started tinkering with different formulas and um, books I kept reading. Again, went back to the library, researched, took anything out that I possibly could that talked about um, traditional medicine. Her recipes evolved as she researched 18th century medicine, and they really started to make a difference for most anyone who had the chance to use them. Over the years, I just kept formulating and my formulas kept getting better and better, and now they're my number one selling items. So those are my lotion sticks, my lip balms, and my herbal uh, soaps that I have. We, of course, asked Stephanie how many times she's been stung. Turns out so many times she simply couldn't even count. But for this beekeeper slash entrepreneur, the real pinch is having to define success. Are you proud? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, I still keep pinching myself, keep saying like, is this real? Um, it's a passion. This has always been, I'm doing what I love to do and I don't, I enjoy sharing what I do with others. So I don't see it as being successful. I just, I just want everybody to enjoy something and if it gives you a little bit of joy, it makes you feel better, then that makes me feel good. So her products are just phenomenal. People rave really about cool. them. And uh, thank you to Stephanie for taking Sabina through so much of what she did that day. That's really neat. The whole summer, Sabina learned something. And it wasn't just about food. So thank you very much, Stephanie. Are you still, are you ready to learn some more? Right. And then this this got you thinking. Right. Because I, I hate, the, I'm not saying I hate this time of year, but I hate the amount of bees that are always around me in August and September. Like if you go to a ball game, they're all around the trash cans and yeah. stuff and you're scared. Well, I found a, a bee razor or someone that keeps bees. Right. Beekeeper, yeah. I guess. Right, yes, there are lots of them. And he gave me the lowdown on what's going on this month and why it's so popular for bees. All right, if you're like me, you, you kind of notice that this time of year, and I'm not sure why it's this time of year, there are a ton of bees around wherever you go. And Josh is here, who's the uh, the head greenskeeper at uh, Avalon Golf and Country Club, superintendent. What's mm -hmm. the official title? Head superintendent. That's the one. 
but you also raise bees. I do. And I didn't know that. I do. So I had all these bee questions that I thought I'd ask you. So let's start with that. Why does it seem like August and September, wherever you go, there's a thousand bees on you? Okay, there's, there's two reasons for that. Reason number one is bees and other stinging insects right now, they are at the height of their population. Okay. So in the spring, early summer, they've just come out of winter. They're making babies, they're growing their population. When you get to this time of year, they are at maximum capacity. Okay. So you can't get any more bees in this time of year. <laughs> All right. The other thing they're doing is, right now they're preparing their colony, they're preparing their queen for winter. So they are going out and they are trying to scrounge every bit of food that they can get their hands on. So you're not really seeing them more than mm -hmm. you see before, you're just seeing more of them. I see. So, and what is their food? What are they looking for other than my Diet Coke, typically? <laughs> Flowers, pollen, uh, they're looking for sugar. You know, that's why they're going after your Coke, your Diet Coke. Okay. They're looking for anything sweet because uh -huh. they can take any of that stuff and turn it into honey for their hive. Why don't, when I wish them away and push, do this move and stuff, why don't they just go away? Why do they keep coming back? Chances are, if they're, if they're bothering you, if they're running into you, you either A, have something they want, like your Diet Coke, okay. or B, you're too close to their nest. Okay. So they're not bothering you so much as you're bothering them. I see. And they're just trying to warn you off. And they're protecting. They're protecting the home. Stuff. There are different types of bees or mm -hmm. these kind of insects. Why don't mm -hmm. we just go over a couple of the popular ones for this part of the world? Okay, you've got your, you've got your bees and your stinging insects. Okay. It's really two separate categories. Uh, your bees are your honey bees, your carpenter bees. They're Those generally the big, big, the big fat, fat one. fluffy ones. Okay. They're generally benign. They won't bother you unless you bother them. Okay. Uh, and then you've got then you've got your stinging insects. You've got your hornets and your wasps. They will attack you for not bothering them. Okay. If you're too close to the hive, if you bump one out of the way, if you you know stick your hand somewhere they don't like it, and they're hanging out, they're gonna sting you. And you were telling me yesterday, if you have one of those just regular old bees and it's near you and you squash it, that's not a good idea, right? No, uh, any bee, bees and hornets, uh, wasps at the same time, when you crush them, when you kill one, they release a pheromone that tells all the other bees in the area, hey, this guy is dangerous, this is a predator, we need help. Here we come. Here we come. Yeah, and they do come. And right? they do come. What if I have, I, you see a lot of them going into the ground rather than the ones up in the trees or up mm. in the awnings and stuff like that. Yeah. That's called a? Those are commonly called ground bees, okay. but they're actually a hornet. Okay. They're, they're, uh, they're just bad news what, all around. What do we do? Do uh, I have to wait till nighttime? A lot of people say that. Nighttime is the best time to deal with those. Okay. Once temperatures drop, uh, bees tend to get back in the hive. They tend to stay warm. Mm -hmm. Those are the best time to deal with them. They won't. Uh, they won't be out buzzing around when okay. after dark. Is there a type of nest that beekeepers want that I could call a beekeeper and they would come get it? Honeybees. Okay. Um, what does it look like? The nest, typically with a honeybee nest, uh -huh. you're not going to see it. Oh, okay. You're going to see them going in and out of a hole in a tree okay. or even maybe your chimney or under the side of your house. Um, typically what beekeepers go for are what's called swarms and those happen spring early summer when a hive gets too big and it outgrows the space that it's it's in the queen takes half the bees and she goes off okay and what she'll do is she'll land on a telephone pole a car a tree limb a bush and she'll just hang out while the scouts find her a new place to live uh -huh. that's the easiest time to collect a honeybee okay and in this house up in the corner there's a little nest yeah uh, nothing to be afraid of right now because the bees aren't in it, but right. that's something, can we do that stuff, that, does that stuff that you squirt that yep. big stream, does yeah, that work? Yeah, that's a, that's a wasp nest, that's a paper wasp nest. Okay. Uh, yeah, just the specter side that you could buy that, you know, has a 16 foot jet on it or whatever, it's mm -hmm. the easiest way to deal with that kind Shoot of stuff. Shoot it and then you're done. Shoot it and walk away. All yep. right. Bees 101 for you, if you're, if you're experiencing what I'm experiencing, bees all around you, those are some tips to get through the fall. So they like sweet stuff. Okay. They go for your sweet stuff. Right. So if you have so a pop or a latte or bananas, they love bananas. They, and they can't tell if you have a yellow shirt on or whatever. I thought they kind of went to yellow or black or no. something. No. It's just the sweet. Just the sweet. And don't sweet smash them. Please don't. 
because then they come. Then you're a threat and they come after you. I don't need that. You know, no. I've never been stung because I run away. But if you do smash them, apparently they smell like bananas. I did, I'm learning so much about bees. I may this change into a whole bee career. These are the reasons why this show's been on for five years. <laughs> that, All this stuff. Goofy stuff like that. <laughs> All right, what's next? I forget. Oh, we're going to take a break. Okay. And then when we come back, we're going to take a ride out to the Sharon Speedway. Okay. Thanks to our friends at the Trumbull County Tourism Bureau. So more of Valley Spotlight right here from the Sunrise Inn in downtown Warren when we come back. Pets are part of the family. And at RC Compounding, their pharmacists make your pet a priority. Pain management is a big one with animals, especially if they have cancer or like end of life. They're unable to take tablets or capsules and we're able to customize it into a solution that an owner could administer um, pretty easily without, you know, difficulty of having them swallow a tablet or capsule if they're not able to. RC Compounding, we care about your health. It's official. We're moving Valley Spotlight to our new time slot, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. on WBCB. That way, if we feature something that happens on a Sunday, you can make it. Make us a part of your Sunday morning routine. Join us, Valley Spotlight at 10 a.m. on WBCB. I'm Barbara Corcoran. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. All right, watching, we tried it. Watching you cut into that thing to just give me a <laughs> it's little. It's a production. Hunk. We need bigger knives. You know, like the ones at Outback, those really yes. big ones. That was so good. Years ago, in a former life, I would. Um, do the sports on the weekends. I know. And we they'd send in the Sharon Speedway scores or the, the results of the races. And there was different classes of car and stuff like that. But you don't really understand it until you go out and you see it. Well, the same guys that were giving you the scores are the same ones that are still there. And they've been there for a very long time. So they know a thing or two yeah, they do. about the Sharon Speedway. And uh, thanks to the, our friends from the Trumbull County Tourism Bureau for introducing us to uh, this amazing sport and these wonderful people. Hi, I'm Pat, and welcome to Sharon Speedway. I'm Jim, and I've been working with Pat Longley, oh my goodness, 44 years that I've been at this racetrack. Well, I'm a scorekeeper. He's an announcer, and he listens to us, and we listen to him. We have to watch what we say sometimes. I was, a, I don't know, 12 years old when my aunt brought me to this racetrack when it was a quarter mile dirt. I grew up in Austin Town, so there were four drivers that lived close by that I could ride my bike to their house. I didn't have a driver's license. That was all I needed. I was a motorhead when I went to school. People don't realize this is the best bang on a Saturday night. What else can you get for entertainment for the price? It's a good price, good food. And uh, as they said, you rent the seat, but you only need the edge. We've gotten guys start in the back and come to the front and win. We've had um, people win by an eyelash at the line bike. Uh, just for an example, a couple of weeks ago, point two zero six second that is this much at the line yes and if you're if you if you if that was your husband or whoever was racing you'd be crawling through the sweet windows I want them to know they're seeing the best racing locally you can you can get 
And there, we even get pros come in now and then, big names such as Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, William Bowman, and they all ran here. And to Tony Stewart, we get some big names running here. With a price to come here and uh, enjoy yourself for a night of racing, it is very affordable. I, we, we try to keep our prices low. Uh, with today's economy, it's a little tougher, but we're trying to keep our prices as low as we can. Um, but you bring your family out here. We have a lot of older people that are working the racetrack, uh, myself, Pat, and um, we need the youth involved. Now, some of our divisions, we have 12 and 13 year olds racing. You look stunned when I said that. 12 and 13 year olds racing here at Sharon. And we've had a couple of them that won track titles at 13, 14 years old. Need a little dirt in your diet. That's what they say, right? <laughs> yes, and two good friends working together for so many years. Mm -hmm. We like to see that. We know what that's like, right? Absolutely. Just a little bit. All right, well. Uh, oh, I visited with Kelly. Yes, you did. And this is a home that is a little near and dear to our hearts on this show. Yeah, we might mention it when you see this edition of Home Advantage. Hey, Mike and Kelly here for another edition of Home Advantage. And Kelly just got a call about this topic the other day, and I was thinking about it on the way over. It's where uh, you have a family member, once you get to our age, unfortunately, people start to pass away, maybe an uncle or an aunt or a parent or a grandparent, and then all of a sudden you're stuck with a house. Mm -hmm. And somebody said the same thing to you, right? Yeah, one of our viewers called in. Unfortunately, she lost her brother, uh -huh. and so she's dealing with his house and his contents. And right. What do you do? Luckily, uh, well, uh, the, the person that owns this house lives nearby. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to Florida and back to get to it, right. but there are some options uh, if this happens to you. So let's go over some of those options. Well, it, short story, you can live in it, right. you can rent it, you can sell it. Okay. But those can look different for different people. Right. Let's talk about living in it first. Okay. Okay. That's easy. You just move your stuff in and you're good to go, yeah. right? If, if you don't currently own a home, if you've been renting and your family member owned a home and they've gifted it to you, great. Or if you've got an emotional connection to it, or if it suits your needs better than your current home, mm -hmm. sell your other home and move here. So it, right. definitely a good option. And also, other than just you living in it, one of your children or nieces or nephews, is there a family member who wants to live in it? Right. So any of that kind of thing, live in it is an option. And that could take us into rent it. Yes. Where those people could pay rent when they come, they right? They could, yes. Or if you wanted to keep the home as an asset, build some income, additional income from it, you mm -hmm. could rent it out to anybody fair market value and start making money off of the property and, and not letting the property go. All right, let's talk about selling it then, because now I won't say you're on the clock, but you have to kind of decide what you want to do, right? Yeah, you know what? So I think that's a good point. You're not on a clock. And I think that we have emotional ties sometimes if this was our uh, home that we grew up in right. or our parents' home or something like that. Um, and especially if it's full of belongings, you need some time to go through those. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe if you're coming here from Florida to sell your parents' home, maybe you want to do it in a week's time and get it on the market and move quicker, but there's no timeline for it. If it takes you a year, if it takes you two weeks, whatever it takes you is fine. Mm -hmm. And then when you hit the market with the house, um, you can either go as is and just sell it the way that they left it, right. or you can do some upgrades to get a higher sale to it. Could you sell it with all the furniture in it? You could, we don't have too many of those. You know, most of our buyers in our area have their own furniture that they're gonna move into yeah. it. Um, like vacation towns, a lot of times sell furnished houses, but right. not usually here. Um, but we can help you, you know, donate it or things like that. And you could have an estate sale or a garage sale and sell the items that you don't want to keep. Are you able to help with that advice, whether I should put some money into it or not? Because that's of kind course. of a juggling act, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you're not putting into it more than what you're going to get in return right. from that. Right. But if it could be simple like paint and carpet or if there's a, a big repair like the roof needs done, maybe you want to do those things. You don't have to go entirely gutting and remodeling kitchens and bathrooms. Exactly. But if you can maximize the amount that your family is going to get from the house, I think our loved ones would want us to do that. Do you have companies that you can suggest if people are all new to this whole thing? Of course, yes. 
Okay. Yeah, we're, we're a resource for you. So we can help you in any avenue of the process. So if this has unfortunately happened to you and you're thinking, what do I do next? All you gotta do is call us. Right, and this house is on the market right here. It is, yes. All right. And same situation, multi-generational family house that it's now time for a new owner and for their family to take over. 601 Ann Avenue or Road? Ann Avenue Ann and Niles. Avenue and Niles, if you'd like to look it up. And uh, to see the rest of Kelly's inventory and what you can do, you can go to the website. KellySoldIt.com. Or give them a call at? 330-717-2689. There's another edition of Home Advantage. It was a fun house. You were there that day. The, the color scheme just takes me back. Like it makes me feel like I was a little kid again. I loved it. I wanted to see it so bad. So did Fred that we went out there um, last night yeah. to go take a look at it. And just the vibe of that home. I know. And, like, you can just feel the warmth of what Ron Flaviano is <laughs> when you walk in the door. Right and just the carpeting in the bathroom. I bet there were some mean Scrabble games going on there or something. <laughs> Lots of family What'd stories. What'd you guys play? Anything fun? Nothing. Cards, rummy. <laughs> <laughs> and brawls. <laughs> right. That's fair. Well, we, it's just, it's uh, good to know. And I know you've been on the other end of a home like that in your life, too, mm -hmm. with your grandfather's it house, right? Yeah, yes, it, it does. So we're hoping that thing sells fast. Let's take a break so I can eat some more. Oh. Is that okay? You guys are good? Yeah, he's Everything good. Everything good? He's good. All right. Knock on wood, right? Be right back. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Canzanetta and I want to welcome you to Oaxaca Taco and I want to invite you down to try our $39 family deal. Authentic Oaxaca flavors are packed into your choice of eight achote chicken or beef picadillo tacos, four mini pieces of elote street corn, chili lime tortilla chips, and two of our savory salsas, plus four churros with dulce de leche and four small worrito slushies. Just 39 bucks. Order at OaxacaTaco.com now. Oaxaca Taco. Eat more tacos. <laughs> And it really all started with salt, with Himalayan sea salt. That's where it all started because of a patient who came in and told me about the benefits of salt therapy, which is inhaling uh, Himalayan sea salt, an aerosolized Himalayan sea salt. And I found that my patients were having fantastic results using salt therapy. And I wanted to know how could I incorporate the Himalayan sea salt into products that would benefit the sinuses and the skin. And that's where Salt Me was born. Join us this fall and winter at Bootlegger's Ballroom for all of your country favorites. Visit thebootlive.com now for tickets. We have such a legacy, created such a legacy here in the Valley, and we're very well respected by numerous manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we're a leader in our industry, and I, I want to continue that, we want to continue that, and we want to take it to the next level. Whatever that level may be, we're ready for it. So let yourself go to do let yourself go to do cut. Welcome back. Valley Spotlight rolling along on this Sunday morning. <laughs> We're going to have to roll us out of here. No Speaking kidding. Speaking of rolling along. I've had them all. Wait, Jeez. I didn't have that one yet. Oh, this is this the Greek pasta, do I think. During this truly Trumbull segment. Yes. Okay. A brand new, I mean fairly new, just this season, kayak company of a group of friends that have come together for a reason that is very near and dear to their hearts. And uh, the best part is, is they're going to bring the kayak to you if you want Ooh, to. Ooh, I like that. Hi, I'm Sam from Twisted Creek Outdoor Adventures. We do kayak rentals, and we also do hosting events on the lake. It's going great so far. Um, we've got a lot of rentals, a lot of exposure. Um, we've had some team building activities with local schools and sports teams. We've had events for ladies on the lake. We do sunrise paddles. 
Um, we team up with other local businesses to have events for people. Anything we can do to have fun. We have a local business uh, partnership with a coffee shop, Main Street Coffee. Uh, they provide us with coffee and uh, muffins for the Sunrise Paddle. Uh, they also give us a card that we can send back to the customer. They can go back to their shop and get a specialty coffee. We uh, teamed up with Country Porch Winery. We do Ladies on the Lake. They uh, provide uh, wine and cheese and fruit tray for the guests. They come out and they go kayaking, then they go on their advent next adventure. Um, Portland Mower Sales provides water and a snack for every rental. After people book with us on our website, um, there's a booking site on there. It's just time. You can pick the time you want and how long you want it. Um, we meet you at the lake. We provide you with the paddle, the vest, um, you get a water, a snack, we push you out in the water. We're here to get you back out of the water. Um, we help you, you know, make sure that you feel comfortable in it and that you're okay with what you're doing. Um, so you don't have to get out and get wet either. Like I said, we pull you back onto the shore, uh, make it a good adventure for you. I've lived here for my whole 45 years. Um, Mosquito Lake gets a bad rap sometimes because of its name, but it's a beautiful lake. Um, it's got a lot of great history. Um, I don't think people give it enough credit for what it is and what we can do here. We wanted to make sure that we had a business where we could support the community and, and make it a good place to have fun. people from Mentor. We've had people from Washingtonville, PA. Um, they just looked on Google and found us and they decided to come and give it a try. Had a wonderful time. So like we, we've hosted events where there's a blue moon paddle and you come out and um, it's a guided tour at night. And you can see the moon. Um, we do the ladies on the lake. Um, we do picnic events where if you and like say 10 of your friends wanted to have a picnic, so you go out and you kayak and you come back and we have picnic food for you. Um, so if you can't make one of those events that we have planned, you can always gather a group of friends together and have an event on your own. And if there's something that we don't have listed and you think you can do it or want to do it, uh, call us and we can make it happen. Okay. All the things in Trumbull County. So when you have friends and family that come to visit, right. this is your source <laughs> right. for things to do right. with them, which I love. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Um, we were just talking about this during the break. Mm -hmm. uh, Frulati, right? You've kind heard of, of heard of it. Yeah. It's at the mall. It's at the Southern Park Mall. I thought it was just drinks, like you so know, smoothies and things like that. You are not right. Not right. Alex has your correction for you right now. Well, this morning I was laying in bed and I said to Fred, my lovely husband, I said, guess where we're going today? We're going to Frulati. Did you recognize it? I did recognize it. You did, did you recognize it? But he said, where? And I said, you know what? Well, yeah, a lot of people don't recognize the name. They recognize Austin. We've here for over 20 years. They love all the product. Well, just saying the name makes you happy. Exactly. You just brought to my attention something that I wasn't expecting when we walked in over here, because I've never actually had it myself, Um, that it's not just drinks it's not just smooth it's not no actually most of my time i'm work and expertise go into the food because we make fresh salad made from scotch we also made gourmet smoothies uh we slice our own deli meat um we do uh 
a gourmet cold sauce with baked fresh bread for that. We also make panini style sandwiches. We more like Italian style sandwiches on the panini grill. And um, that is, is all gourmet and um, a lot of stuff made from scratch. A ton of stuff made from scratch. You were that, looking at the ingredients. Yeah. I, I mean, the freshness and the quality, I mean, it just jumps out at you. And you said this is this is not just because our cameras are here today. This is every day, right? That's every single day. That's my daily routine every single morning. And most of the time, as I told you, I, I will stop at a local produce place and I'll pick up produce from them, just bring it down here, okay, into the store. And that's what the customer will be served for you out there. Cut it off and it looks absolutely- I mean, it doesn't get better than that, right? No, it really- Yeah. The yeah. concept itself, um, for people that may not be familiar with it here in Ohio, it's because it's from out in California? Well, it's out Arizona, West. based in Arizona, and then it's mostly like a California uh, theme. That's what they wanted to serve over there. Like when everything is made uh, fresh every single day, served fresh every single day. A uh, quality product and um, uh, put a lot of work into it, and that's where I came in as well. Um, although I'm not, a, I'm not self-made, made home pot. Let's say, yeah, self-taught, self, right? Okay, yeah, yeah I got it. But you yeah. know the importance of the ingredient. We laugh it. Yeah, I pay attention to all ingredients, quality, um, uh, recipes as well, and um, make sure everything is made top-notch. You are a very busy guy. We have this location out here at the Southern Park Mall. We yeah. do want to make mention that you are just open. We just opened Mar on March, last March, Eastwood Mall. And it's called Energize Lifestyle Cafe. So we serve a gourmet uh, premium coffee over there, but it's the style. So nothing automated. Okay. And uh, we also serve our smoothies and not the tissue. A wonderful staff keeping um, everything looking really, really good and a great client base that is uh, very... Uh... Yeah, I couldn't do it without my amazing staff, the amazing people that work here. Um, uh, they just make my life much easier. Well, come on out here. He's just located right in the center food court and say hi to Alex and his entire team. And I encourage you to give this a shot. I mean, this is it's gorgeous stuff. So thank you so much. For oh, okay, thank you for the guys being here. I appreciate it. So yeah, frulati is Yummy. more than just smoothies. Okay, okay? fresh stuff, I like that great kind of stuff. stuff. I yep, do. me too. And uh, you guys would really enjoy it. I know we did. I had it's the chicken. I had the chicken and salad. Delicious and it's low cal. I'm sure. Yes, right? it is. Just like this cholesterol this, burger, or over here. this pasta, or that pasta. Just like everything <laughs> here at the Sunrise Inn. Right. Wear your stretchy pants here, folks. Right. Well, to know Ken Hyderis <laughs> is to try to keep up with Ken Hyderis. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> these days, you have the whole the whole world is talking about your new venture and a partnership out there at Yankee Lake. Yeah. This country at the boot, like I said, they came to us, and I, I don't ask me how stuff just happens. And I know, I gave up on really asking does. a long time ago. The, I can't even remember <laughs> sometimes, and Country at the Boot was formed, and I like the name. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, I said before, the place just screams country with the, with the wooden roofs and the wooden structure. The hardwood floor, I mean, to build that place, place now would cost a bazillion dollars mm -hmm. with all the wood in there, but it just screams country, it's really cool. It's, we're gonna have line dancing. And something I didn't know is before that that was like a big deal out there. Yeah. And I read all the Facebook posts and everybody's asking, is that going to be there? And absolutely. So we're yeah. going to have a dance studio out there. So we're working on that now. And uh, I think it'll be fun. The lineup of names though, Mike. I mean, there is a lot of country, but there's a couple so things there, in there that are sprinkled Some in days you'll parts. have live music. Some yeah. days will just be open for dancing and stuff like that. Or do you even know yet? Have you gotten no, that? No, it's a work in progress. All right, there's very good. There's a Southern Rock things. There's yep. the Allman Brothers band that they are phenomenal. I don't even like the Allman Brothers. And these guys are that good. I'm not an Allman Brothers It's a fan. tribute band? Tribute, yeah. Okay. Called Revival. They're excellent. And the Leonard Skinner band, which I do love Leonard Skinner, yeah. is excellent. So most of it's country. Uh, we've got a couple, when we get off the air, I, I can't divulge right now, a couple things I want to get your opinion on something. But Are you allowed to yell Freebird at the... I do, I yell at everything. Skinner. I yell <laughs> at everywhere I go. Okay, very good. I yell at that Taylor Freebird? Swift thing I was yelling. You were yelling Freebird? Freebird? Okay, very good. Even the Shania Twain one, which I'm excited about. She looks really great. She's great. I had, we had Holy her the last year. She's beautiful. No, this, year, this year, she was phenomenal. Uh -huh. Beautiful young lady. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, these, tr these bands really are, we get them from all over the nation. They're all traveling. Uh, Really looking forward to it. We're going to have some concessions there, of course, a lot of adult beverages. Uh, we got good thing you're an adult. Go figure. Sometimes. Merchandise, yeah. merchandise. We got K105 involved. Oh, ah, okay, country. For opening night. 
And uh, really looking forward to it because, you know, summer, you got the summer, there's a lot to do here, like with the amp and all the different amphitheaters and concerts. Winter, I think, is a little slower, and people maybe are looking for something to do. And to me, this yep. is perfect. It's the only place to be. Every, Every other, other Saturday, Saturday night, night, except for the first three weeks, there's three in a row. <laughs> okay. And there may be something like on a Thursday, too, but we'll talk about all that. So we may have to kind of, and mod, the motto may be a little work in progress. New right. Year's Eve, Mike with Chris Higby. Really? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Special one. Fiddler so. on the roof. Fiddler yeah. on the roof. Inside. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. And I think, I, you know, I think people are looking for something to do. It's a nice environment. Uh, you know, I know we do a lot of carry out here for people that, you know, just want to stay home. Yep. But there's people looking for stuff to do. It's a nice evening. It's a nice environment. It's really, it really is nice. I, I, I really couldn't even find that place like, a, you know, whatever, six months ago. Kind of. I've been out there. But now, as I might become more familiar with it, it's really a cool 105-acre complex. And yep. We have the sign out front that says Country at the Boot. <laughs> we most certainly live, do. <laughs> live at the boot. All the Italians are like, wait, the boot? The boot? No, com, not yeah. that boot. This yeah, is the, yeah, this is not the other kind of boot. Yeah. Right. So join us on Facebook. <laughs> yep. Join our email list because that's how we reach everybody yep. along with Valley Spotlight here and mm -hmm. all our other partners in the media. Yeah, it keeps well, you posted. We appreciate everything you do with this community and it is just, it's just a wonderful thing to be a part of. And we really appreciate the support of sponsors and uh, and the people. I mean, without that, it doesn't work. You know, right. one hand washes the other and both hands wash your face. Remember that. That's an old Italian saying. That's right. That is right. <laughs> Thebootlive.com. <laughs> you can see everything there. And as tickets become available, um, those those e-tick links will become live Real as soon. they Real soon. as they come yeah. on board. Okay? Not yeah. Now. Well, thank you for everything. Oh, thank you. Look at this. You're going to take some food, huh? Yeah, hopefully. probably. Yeah. Probably box Ronnie, up something. Ronnie, a little burger Do you have here? a giant box? you have like Fred? a top hat box? This one. For the, you know, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to something. give you maybe that plastic salad container. Because <laughs> yeah. it is a lot. That's yeah. cholesterol. It's a tall, too tall. I don't <laughs> want to just have a briefcase, Michael. Yeah, I know. No kidding. Lipitor. That's a Lipitor burger. Don't forget to watch us on our Roku channel or all our social media pages, right? Yep, valleyspotlight.com too. And uh, keep those ideas coming. Some of those wonderful stories about local businesses and local people. We don't know them until you tell us about them so please keep them coming and thanks Ken for uh, having a good time with us thanks as always, always, always for so fun. many years now always fun. Yep. Yeah, it has been, has been. our retro commercial maybe one of the more famous bees the honey nut cheerio Ooh. bee have a good Sunday everybody bye everybody there's another kind of cheerio waiting in your breakfast bowl it's a honey of an oat it's honey nut cheerios it's the sign of Honey. Mm. It's a honey, I don't know. It's honey nut Cheerios. Looks good. Taste of honey and nuts, right? Right, and it's part of our nutritious breakfast. Mmm. Honey nutty flavor. Sure is one honey over now. It's honey nut Cheerios. 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 Honey Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.